Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean episode number 7. Alright, the previous episode. Um, we met a new uh, character, McQueen, and his stand, which is called Highway to Hell. So he he's like a suicidal type of a character and his stand obviously which is something that very much uh is you know like very much matches his own personality like any other person if they had this stand i doubt any other person would even have this stand you know because like stand is like uh the thing in the soul so it was because of his personality i guess his stand became like something like this so that's why you know like this stand was perfect for him and he was just able to like you know he was able to uh, kind of trap Hermes in a big um, like in, in, in kind of like a troublesome situation which Hermes was easily not easily but uh, like you know there were a, few, a little bit of struggle was able to get out of using her stand uh, her newly found stand which is called uh, Kiss uh, which and or Smack the localized name that is Smack uh, now she her stand is very interesting and I'm very what can I say <laughs> impressed to see that she was so easily able to make use of her stand's unique properties like the way she creatively made use of that uh, that was fantastic she you know like she used something like duplication to do so many things like there's a little twist with duplication it's not only duplication it's also kind of like you know becoming back into one if the sticker is taken off and like you know having a little destructive properties with that so it's a little additional uh, thing uh, with the duplication a little twist to it so she was able to use that little twist to do so many things and you know in so many ways so that was impressive and Hermes I'm guessing she's going to try to find out Jolene after this so yeah let's see what happens so yeah let's start this episode this is episode number seven and uh, yeah let's get started so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get this video started okay so here's the countdown three two one go okay let's see if we meet i'm sure we'll meet another new stand here let's see which what stand that is probably some enemy stand oh oh this is a recap Oh yeah, this is the seventh episode. That's why they're kind of giving a little recap, I guess. <clears throat> Punishment ward. Okay, there you go. She knows. Okay, there you go. All right. There you go. Yeah, did you like... Wait, he's going to die. But she's going to die. Okay, there you go. Hmm. Yep, that'll help. She can just put it inside his her. Okay, what's happening here? Whoa, what the? Oh, this is the alligator they were talking about. Is this related to a stand? Oh my god, I feel like it is. What, killer alligators? Whoa, what's happening here?
Okay, well... Oh! Oh no. Ah! Uh... Whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Okay, so... Yeah, another enemy stand, I'm guessing. It's like the... Some kind of a... Slime monster. <laughs> uh. Alright, well... So, wait a minute, even if we, even if we uh, realize where Hermes is, like obviously we, I guess Hermes can come and meet her, that's one thing that she can probably do, you know, like, like even though I'm guessing obviously their cells will be in different places, you know, they're holding cells, but during free time and stuff, I guess they can just come out and meet, that's one way, I guess. So, yeah. Like, I'm sure after this, Jolene will try to meet Hermes. And Hermes will also probably try to meet in the uh, spare time, free time, when they're let out of their, you know, their cells. Then. Okay. There's six of us. Hmm. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Farm gowns. <laughs> yeah, so Oh, there you go, Jolin is here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We trust you, Charlotte. <laughs> oh, that's why they called them. Then what? What? Who would even do that? Oh, I'm guessing people who... Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing people who... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay. What? Oh. Uh, oh, it'll explode. I thought it'll probably... Fifty meters. <laughs> that's not... <laughs> I think that's the least of the problems. <laughs> Um, what? We'll have to run? Oh my god, we'll have to run, literally run, 50 meters. <laughs> what a douchebag. Oh, that girl, that girl is there. Ooh, we're going to, okay, uh, in the opening.
All right, there you go, that girl. Okay, they need to talk actually. This is a perfect chance. Hmm. Yeah, this. Yep. Feel terrible. Well, yeah, obviously, if information is getting in your brain. What? <laughs> aim. What aim? Wait, what? Oh, wait, he inserted the disc on him. Wait, 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 does he have stand discs? Like inserting it in different people and giving them stands? Oh my God. So that was not his stand, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, she doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Okay, that's why she volunteered to come. Okay. I thought she wanted because she wanted to have a talk with Hermes, but they can just talk outside. Yeah. Okay, this is where they died. Those two. <laughs> Eating tomatoes. Um. Um. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Okay, what is this guy planning now? What the? What? It's going to explode, isn't it? Oh. Oh, he's trying to do that. Wow, this guy's... What are you, five? Like what? This guy... <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh, there you go. Or may maybe this is not the tractor. I doubt this is the tractor. Hmm. Okay. 
let's see or maybe this is the tractor and i i doubt the guy who's doing this the main villain would just keep it there you know or ah uh, great Well, this guy's just going to go ahead. <coughs> yeah, what do you do? What? No, he's talking about something else. Five. Oh, wait. So, how many came? Is this girl invincible, invisible or something? Wait, really? <clears throat> yeah, I also didn't count. Oh my god, this girl also. Wait, so I think someone came in from the outside. Oh, that can be. Someone joined midway. Etro. This girl? Okay, they have alibi. Oh. Oh no, it's, it's going, it's the distance. No, wait. This is because of the distance? Oh. Oh no, underneath, underneath, oh my god. This is a problem. He's drowning. Probably the alligator got him or something, or the stand got him. Oh no. <coughs> Need to dive down. Oh my god. Come on! Don't go No! What the? I doubt she's dead because she's one of the main characters. Okay, thank God. Wait, where are they going? Uh, I don't know. Like, why would she give alibi for her then? Impossible. Okay, so then. Oh no. Uh. <coughs> um, don't go there.
Hmm. Oh no! Oh my god, where did she... What? Oh my god, the bucket is a stand or something? What? Okay, this thing. This thing is the stand. Oh. Oh. Huh, wow. Oh my god. Okay. Um, the video is got a little bit messed up there. Sorry about that. <laughs> My my computer was lagging, I think. Alright. Okay. Uh. <coughs> oh no! The distance! Come on, Jolene, use... Yeah. Okay, a net? Okay. What was she? Whoa. Oh no. Whoa, wait, wait, what the? <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. <coughs> oh, no, they're noticing. Why? Grab it underwater. Wait. Oh, she's contracting it. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Aha, <laughs> nice. <coughs> oh, God. It's like a virus isn't this guy like you know like that tree is very suspicious what the hell is that in the middle of nowhere there's like one tree I don't trust that tree <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the end. I need to check that portion out again. That portion in my PC, my suddenly lacked so much that the <laughs> the picture got completely uh, you know distorted. I need to check that portion out again. I did not I wasn't able to catch what Hermes did at that moment You know, 
using just uh, her seal <coughs> I need to check that out again okay now a few things that are kind of suspicious number one that tree <laughs> that tree is extremely suspicious like what is that like that's like in the middle of like nowhere there's like a tree with its root out that's weird <laughs> that's number one number two is the girl who died i doubt she's dead because she it seems like she is going to be a main character so obviously she's not going to die here now this brings us into i can kind of conclude from here this this can go in either two ways number one is that the girl who died is the one who is who who has this stand who is trying to obstruct them because you know like jojo kind of does this like uh like enemies kind of become their friends one or two enemies you know the whole thing with kakoyo in in the beginning then polnar if if you remember both of them were kind of the enemy okay that's the end kind of the enemy in the beginning so and then they suddenly like you know after like hanging around with them and everything they became friends and allies so it wouldn't surprise me if this girl like you know is introduced as an enemy and then becomes a friend in the later part so for now my best bet is the stand that's that we are seeing is that girl's stand which i might be wrong completely maybe it's one of the other girls or something but like you know I've, i have like a 60 40 um suspicion 60 percent that yeah this girl who died who is probably the owner of the stand you know and the other girls are not the 60 percent 40 percent maybe something else happened we'll see in the next episode i'm sure we're going to get our answers okay um i've found that portion um <clears throat> the, the the different the the, the, the stands kind of <clears throat> uh you know in her face completely she's almost is trying to take that out cannot do that and she kind of sees two eyes uses her seal what does she do over here oh she duplicates the bucket no what's is that what she does here I, I i still am unable to understand what she did there i think that's what she did she i think she either yeah i can see two buckets here but she duplicated the bucket i don't know i think that's what she probably did there but now there's one thing that's still like you know her stand is still there's a few confusion that i still have with her stand is like she so what she does is she sticks the sticker into something that she must duplicate uh, when she sticks the sticker it duplicates itself and if she takes the sticker out the duplicated stand can uh, things kind of come back together is that what it, how it goes because I, f I feel like in the last scene I see the whole hand scene you know where um, like, uh, the stand is holding uh, <coughs> Jolene's leg and she says like don't worry I've already put my sticker on the hand and she takes off the sticker that's when a duplicate hand emerges and it smacks down and it causes damage I don't think it's is that how it's going to it's supposed to go but as far as i know when you stick in the sticker it duplicates then and when you take out the sticker the duplication reverse and it like you know causes a little destruction and comes back together so when the sticker is in it duplicates when the sticker is taken out it comes back but the last scene kind of shows us differently doesn't it like you know like that scene uh, where <clears throat> Jolene is trying to get away and Hermes says that don't you worry I have everything under control and she says when I was caught in its arms I I put the sticker this is my uh, standability and let me peel it off she peels it off with her leg and when she peels off the duplication happens and it comes back like this is the thing that's actually confusing me because I, I think I remember in the previous episode and even in this episode like when the sticker is in it duplicates it's not that when the sticker is in it does not duplicate and when you take it off it duplicates and then comes back I don't think that's how it goes 
So um, that's a little bit confusing there. I'm not sure what happened there, how she did that. Like, you know, like um, when the seal was in, she was supposed to have two hands as far as I know. And then if she takes the seal out, then the hands are supposed to come back together. But it seems like when she takes the seal off, it duplicates then and then it comes back. So I don't know. I'm sure like, you know, in the future episodes, I'll probably see more applications of her stand and slowly be able to understand what her stand actually does. Like, you know, like how it goes step by step. But anyways, um, okay, so this episode here, um, <clears throat> we get introduced to a new stand. Um, uh, I, I'm guessing this is the stand who, or maybe not. I still don't know that the, the, the sludge thing, the slime thing that we saw in the beginning scene, um, the one that uh, killed the, 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 two, the two guys, you know, um, I don't think that and this are the same. Probably different. I'm not sure. No, so that's one thing that I still don't know. I'm sure we're going to get our explanation if that uh, thing that we saw in the beginning and this stand are the same. I doubt they're the same. I think they're probably different. But anyways, we'll have to wait for the explanation. But yeah, uh, something happens. These two guys die and Okay, and then like you know the the warden they come and say that oh we need volunteers all that the the whole you know handcuff not handcuff but the hand thing okay uh, they attach it to them they come out and here's one thing that I saw at that moment but I really did not think much when they were coming out the characters who were coming out with them they were shown as a silhouette i was for a moment i thought why are they showing silhouette here like you know like aren't we supposed to get a face it makes sense now because that's the whole point of this episode like who's the um, imposter <laughs> like you know that's why they showed silhouettes there and <clears throat> okay here, here's the thing yeah it's still silhouette in the beginning when when that guy okay just a sec one two three four five okay yeah i can see now there are five people including them and they're shown as silhouettes <clears throat> now from the silhouettes i can <laughs> i don't know if if this is cheating or not but from the silhouettes i can guess obviously the the, the girl on the left is a girl with green hair there's a girl with a ponytail i can see and then there is another girl so these girls are okay Okay, um, let's see. Let's see if we, we are able to actually predict who. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, here you go. Wait a minute. They already show us. Uh, the green haired girl is here. Um, the girl with the, the yellow haired girl is here. The, the black haired girl. Who is the one who is missing? Let me check the next scene. We're going to see here okay yeah <laughs> well i i didn't need to um you know like I, there was no need for me to actually rack my brain there because it's very like if you go back you can basically see who the um imposter is 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 the is the muscular girl you know uh let me see yeah the one who stand that girl with uh mm, what is that like 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 a bluish hair you know uh, wearing uh that's the girl isn't it yeah that's the imposter i think you know the with the yellow tank top i think so yeah that's the girl <clears throat> so yeah i <laughs> i did not have to have to rack my brain that much like i was kind of like trying to figure everything out from the silhouettes and stuff no no needed they basically show you there if you just go back so that's the girl who is the imposter, I think. Um, so, okay, so apparently my theory of <laughs> the green haired girl being the imposter is wrong because I thought they were going to do it like that. You know, like the green haired girl was going to be the imposter and that she's, she tried to like kill them and everything. But, you know, like <clears throat> they'll defeat her and then she like becomes their friend, their ally, and then she's going to help them. Just like how the whole thing with Polnareff went. 
and the whole thing with Kakuin kind of went as well. So I was, I was thinking uh, it was going to happen in that way, but no, probably not. And I doubt that girl is dead, the green-haired girl, because she's supposed to be the main one of the main characters. So yeah, we'll have to wait for that. But anyways, okay, so now that we know who the imposter is, um, I'm guessing that's her stand, most probably. So, okay. All right, so now uh, on the way, they talk about the whole disc thing. Hermes and Jolene and uh, like you know like they, they talk about the tractor that's in the in there and I doubt the discs are is still in the tractor like I don't think so the guy who's doing this I doubt he's that stupid that he'll uh, leave the discs over there he or she I'm not sure who like if that's a male or female the person who is like you know who who has the um, what's the name uh, white snake white snake as a stand that person i'm not sure if that's a male or a female but whoever that person is i doubt they are that like you know like uh, what do you call it uh, like they're that stupid that they're just going to leave it lying around there i doubt that so i'm guessing it's going to be going this way like you know they're going to fight the stand defeat them and then try to go and see whether there's something in the tractor and they'll find there's nothing or they'll probably find a few discs but those discs probably will be irrelevant like you know like the ones that they're not looking for but anyways um so yeah <clears throat> yeah they're talking about the tractor all that stuff they go there uh the police officer was kind of like uh um you know like <laughs> he's kind of <laughs> i don't know what to call it like, like a little kid he was like haha you fall in uh, you fell on <laughs> dog uh, crocodile poop how funny you know, uh, sad, I'm sad he died, you know, like, <laughs> he was kind of a douchebag, but still, he did, did not deserve to die, obviously. But yeah, uh, okay, so, <laughs> alright, so that guy, so I, I'm guessing the stand got that person, and, um, yeah, like, it's interesting to see here, like, um, like, they really, you know, like, they basically gave us the answer. Now that we are going back, we can basically see who the imposter is. But at the same time, at that moment when I was watching it, I really wasn't able to figure it out because the previous scene when they, all of them were running, you know, I didn't even bother checking the number, nor did I bother checking the characters. I was like, oh, these people, you know. And then when they suddenly say that, wait a minute, someone actually extra is within us. So who is that? That's when I thought that, wait a minute, like, they already showed us all the characters. So, I was not so attentive that, you know, like, I'm sure a few people who were attentive at that moment probably understood who the imposter is at that moment. You know, they did not have to just go back after uh, completing the episode. Unfortunately, that was not me. So, yeah, I had to go back. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm. So... Yeah, the guy's dead. Now, here's another thing. Um, I don't know what the hell is up with the tree, but the tree is weird. Maybe it's just me, you know? <laughs> Maybe I'm just you kind know, of thinking too much. But yeah, anyways, I'll stop talking about the tree. Um, <clears throat> the girl first, at first the girl dies, you know, like it explodes. Now, wait a minute, another thing, um, okay, so the girl dies due to explosion. Yeah, now that I think about it, the girl dies from explosion. It, it, I thought, like, you know, like, it, it was not because of the stand. It was because, obviously, the guard went a bit, you know, uh, far, farther than 50 meters. So, okay, so... I'm guessing it, it's going to be something related to her stand, you know, like, we'll probably see because I doubt she's going to die. But yeah, okay, so, Hermes gets stuck in the, in the bucket after that. Mm. The little piranha type, you know, little fish type uh, stand. Now, as I said, these stands kind of like, I guess, virus in a way like you know they kind of duplicate replicate themselves and like all together they kind of become like a big thing 
and take a, like a humanoid form so we still don't know what its ability is i'm guessing its ability is kind of duplicating itself becoming like this big thing and i don't know drag them down in the water and i'm guessing you know like do something to them probably something like that but <clears throat> yeah like almost gets get stuck now here's where the application of the stance start the first thing that Hermes did does here is she I think she duplicates the uh, bucket or the stand something she does there you know it kind of gets duplicated and that's how she kind of she, she's able to get out of the bucket then Jolene what she does here is she makes the string four horizontal strings she used to tie both ends of like you know to one tree another thing and then she starts knitting it and doing something to it like you know, making knots with her hand which also has like a supply of string going and it's kind of like you know paving the path as you're going like her hand is in front and she's kind of like you know like knotting it together to make a proper uh, foothold to run on top of and like you know and running and as she's running obviously her hand is on, in front and her hand is also moving and making more knots which are making like it's like a making a platform on top which is interesting way to move you know like um yeah i think this was the best way to actually go from one place to another within that short amount of time that they she had to go and help Hermes because I don't think there is any other way she could have done that because Hermes was at such a distance I doubt her stand would go that amount of distance and even if it went um, that stand could you know like Hermes the, the stand that was holding Hermes could easily just you know dive down and it would be all in vain so she could not use her stand to attack the stand or like you know try to grab Hermes that that had a lot of risk going on with it so uh, that's not something that she could have done there um, another thing that she could have done is I'm guessing um, but that's impossible like I was thinking the way she was trying to come back you know like when she was coming back she was contracting the um, uh, string and that's how you know like they were getting pulled but that was only possible because they were underwater like she was not underwater at that moment she was on top of water so even if she like, you know used her string on the other uh, side and contracted it it wouldn't be that much helpful i guess you know like she, yeah it would have been like you know like no no it wouldn't be properly applicable at, at least at that scene and they were basically like nothing like one or two trees here and there so I think this was like the best way that she could have done that and like obviously like <laughs> I don't know how she came up with this you know this way of ap applying the stand but wow like her IQ is insane <laughs> like what how can we even come up with these type of things but anyways <laughs> okay she goes there the stands tries to you know punch her and you know imp not impale but you know like kind of uh kill her with that but again here's the thing that I was actually saying and i said this before like she can use this easily to dodge stuff she can just you know like untangle herself and that's what she did she basically made a hole <laughs> in her <laughs> belly at that moment where she was getting punched and since it was like a mesh of thread and she can just like you know untangle it and like you know kind of uh, you know make a hole within her stomach it, nothing much happened i'm guessing she like you know the little blood that came out was something that was very little injury that she got most of the injury that she would have gotten didn't she didn't get it because the thing that she did at that moment and yeah she would have probably died if she did not have her stand power and yeah now here's another interesting thing that i got to know from this episode when she uses her string it it reduces from within herself you know like so she's basically using her her own strings that are constituting her body to make the string so it's not like she can make infinite amount of string it's basically all the amount of string that she has within herself she can just use that amount not more than that that's another interesting thing that i was i was able to get from this episode i did not know that you know 
So I thought like she could make infinite amount of string, but apparently not. She cannot do that. Like she can only like you know untangle the, her string that she has within her own body to make most like you know to make the string and kind of project them outside. And probably that's what she did, you know, like since she had like already projected a few uh, strings to go from one place to another, one side to another, when the stand, like, you know, punched him, it was basically the, the string that she was missing from within her, you know, like which she used to go from one part of the uh, river to another part. That the amount that she used, that, that amount that was missing from her body, she probably repositioned that portion in her stomach where it made a gaping hole or something and that's when she got punched you know it, it barely hurt her because there was like a hole within it maybe i'm not sure it's just something that i thought maybe that's how she did it but anyways okay that was that and she <clears throat> gets Elmer's back they kind of go back using like you know from within the water she contracts the um what do you call it the stand and now here's the thing um one thing that they does say is kind of interesting it says that so why is this stand not reducing its power it's not getting its power reduced like if this is a long range stand it as the distance if it travels should you know reduce the strength that it has but that was not happening so does that mean this is a remote control stand who knows maybe because like you know like the, the stand kind of gets injured a little bit you know when Hermes does the whole thing but the girl who's standing nothing happens to her so it wouldn't surprise me if that's a remote control stand maybe that's why maybe that's why like you know the power did not uh, reduce but yeah that was that they go back and now they're like you know they, they basically said that yeah you guys some of you uh either a few or maybe more of you people are <laughs> the enemy here so who's the imposter and i'm guessing the next episode they'll try to figure that out so yeah the first um suspicion that they made was the guy it was a girl who had the you know like the the, the weird eyes the girl with the weird eyes that girl but that's wrong i guess because we we already know who the imposter is if you just go back like the girl the the girl who has a little tan that girl that girl's the imposter most probably we'll see so yeah that was it mm. that was my reaction to jojo's bizarre adventure stone ocean episode number seven so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out but no spoilers so that's it so thank you guys for watching so i'll see you guys uh um okay so the next episode now here's the thing um i i was supposed to upload an episode yesterday i think um i did not do that because i was a little and became a little busy i wasn't i had did not have the time to actually record it so like this week uh, like you know not i, I was supposed to like you know like upload three episodes per week this episode this week it'll probably be two episodes so today this episode is coming out and just like how after four days i upload another episode that's how i'm going to do it you know so like after four days i'm going to upload another episode this is episode seven i'll episode uh, upload episode seven uh, up upload episode eight after four days so yeah and then i'll try to like you know kind of keep i'm i'm i'll definitely uh, complete this within this month that that is something that i'll definitely do because i have some other animals that i want to react to next from january so i'll have to complete this this month so yeah that's like you know so after four days i'll probably upload episode number eight so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day